Hey again everyone. I've spent a lot of time trying to get the Your TTS multi-speaker model trained to sound as good as the VITS models. With freezing some areas before and after various steps of training, I was able to get results similar to the demos, but I don't have a lot of energy right now and don't want to spend a lot of time fiddling with the training parameters. I've trained and fine-tuned a whole bunch of VITS models with Koki, and if you use reasonable enough data, you can get some great results. One thing I hadn't done until now is tried to fine-tune a multi-speaker VITS model. And if it trains as well as the single speaker model, it should sound pretty outstanding. Well, is it? So far, no. But I've only just started a new fine tuning session. I've reworked the data sets I'm using a few times, and as anyone that's fiddled with this kind of stuff knows, that can take quite a long time. But so far, the results are pretty promising. As I've said in the previous videos, none of what I'm doing here is meant to be taken as best practices or even the proper way to do anything. It's almost the complete opposite. I misuse things and poke at them, usually breaking them, before attempting to put them back together into something functional. The models you make here, or if you take the script and port it to run locally, should run on the Koki framework from version 9 onward, I think. Alright, let's get to looking at the Google Colab notebook. It's somewhat divided into two parts. The first is for dataset pre-processing and setup, and the second part is for training. First, click the link at the top of the notebook to save a copy into your Google Drive, and when prompted, open the saved copy. You can close the original. In your copy of the notebook, run the first cell to connect your Google Drive account. If you see this error about not being able to use a GPU when connecting to the session, you'll probably need to wait for a server with a GPU to be available. Though if you do have multiple Google accounts, you can try using an alternate. There are a few changes in this notebook compared to the others that I've posted for training the single speaker VITS and the Your TTS models. I'll try to cover them as I step through the script. If I miss anything critical, or if you have any questions or suggestions, let me know down below in the comments. Use the next cell to set up variables and paths. The only thing you really need to change here is the dataset name. The directories referenced in the cell will be created if they don't exist. After changing any options, run the cell to set the variables and create directories. There are three types of runs for the script. Continue resumes an interrupted training session. Restore begins a new fine-tuning session in a new run directory based on the model downloaded from the Koki Hub. And Restore Checkpoint begins a new fine-tuning session based on a checkpoint that you've selected above. The next cells will download RNN Noise, OpenAI's Whisper, Koki TTS, and other assorted goodies like socks. While waiting for this stuff to install, head over to your Google Drive by using the browser or by using the Google Drive desktop application and navigate to the upload directory created by the notebook. Put each voice's samples in a separate directory and upload them to the sample upload directory. You can use this cell to run the Koki TTS command line application and list all the models available on the model hub. There's quite a lot. We'll be working on fine-tuning the VITS model trained on LJ Speech. If your uploads are done, you can get started on processing the audio. Use this cell to list the directories within the sample uploads folder. Set the subfolder to process and a name for your new speaker. Use a short string, so no weird characters. Set the new speaker and the names of the new voice you're training, and set the audio processing options. I've separated out some of the audio processing options, so if you make your own dataset manually, you can bypass processing that could degrade your samples. However, skipping some of these occasionally breaks the whole chain, so all options on or all options off is probably for the best. Run the cell to process audio clips. After the clips are processed, they can be transcribed with Whisper speech to text. Select the Whisper model you'd likely to use. Large V2 is the most advanced model, but you may have difficulty loading on the free tier of Colab. Select the model you want to use and then run the cell. Run the cell to load the Whisper model only once. Running it multiple times will probably crash the Colab session. The large V2 Whisper model is almost three gigabytes, so it will take some time to download and I'll time lapse through that. It's downloaded to a temporary directory on your collab session and it will be deleted if the run ends. Run the next cell to list all the processed speaker sample sets in your dataset directory. Then set the speaker you'd like to transcribe in the next cell. 
Repeat the above steps to set the speaker to process and transcribe each new speaker. When you're done, download and review your dataset. Delete any bad audio files and corresponding transcripts. I'm not going to go over datasets in detail here, but in general, garbage in, garbage out. This cell simply does a directory listing of the speakers. Set which folder you'd like it to transcribe, then run the cell. Run the first training cell to download the pre-trained LJ Speech VITS model from the Koki Hub. Run the next two cells to load TensorBoard and the dashboard so you can look at graphs and listen to audio samples while within an active training session. I mentioned that there were three types of training runs here. If you want to continue an interrupted session, run this cell to list all the runs in your dataset directory. Copy and paste the run folder that you want to continue in the next cell. If you're beginning a new session based on the previous checkpoint, run the next cells to list all the checkpoints, then put the checkpoint you'd like to restore from into the next cell and run it. There are a few changes to the model configuration arguments in the script versus the other ones I've posted. This is being trained with vectors and I'm using the parameters discussed in the Your TTS paper and training recipe using the speaker encoder as lost and using the speaker weighted sampler. There's a bit of an issue with the weighted sampler in small data sets, so if your data set is too small, I think the eval split ends up being zero and the training will fail. You need to either provide a larger data set, bypass the eval split, or redefine it somehow, or disable the weighted sampler. I have removed the default test sentences and have a loop that generates two test sentences for each speaker found, so you don't need to change anything here to add the speaker names like in the previous notebooks. Run the next cell to load the audio processor. The next bit of code here was taken from the Koki Your TTS training recipe. This function computes the vectors for each dataset used and stores the generated list in the datasets directory. On reloading the script, if the vector file is found, it loads its cache. If not, it generates a new one. The next cell loads the speaker manager, the speaker encoder, and the vectors to figure out the speaker name for each sample. Load the tokenizer, the model, and tokenize the dataset with the next cell. Use the block of dropdowns to set any training options before initializing the trainer. If you reinitialize the duration predictor or the text encoder at the beginning of the training session, you'll need to disable it again before continuing or restoring a new session. Otherwise, you'll be reinitializing those on every load. To use the models, you'll need to download the model checkpoint, the configuration file, and the speakers file generated by the trainer. These can all be found in the training run subfolder of the training output directory, which will live within the data set directory on your connected Google Drive account. Run the next cell to begin training. As logs are saved and samples are generated, they'll appear in TensorBoard, but you may need to click the refresh button on the dashboard to get the newest. At the bottom of the notebook are a few bits of code to show the cookie TTS command line. If the trainer is running, you won't be able to run these cells, but they're not necessary because samples are available in TensorBoard. Adjust the path here to reflect your train checkpoints and run the cell to list the speakers available in your model. Adjust the paths in the next cell to generate a WAV file that can be played within the notebook. You can right click on this and save it if you want to. Well I think that about covers it for this one. I'll be back soon with a video with a bunch of samples of models once they finish cooking. And there's another set of revisions coming to the notebook to incorporate some more training options.